Hi guys, it's Katie with Ray K Books and today I'm going to be doing a book review of The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. Rachel had an art copy that she was kind enough to lend me, so thank you Rachel. When I learned that Jennifer E. Smith was coming out with a new book, I had to read it. I read The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight and I really enjoyed it and I couldn't wait to read some more of her books. So this one comes out on April 15th. This book follows Lucy and Owen and they meet in an elevator during a New York City blackout. And then after they get out of the elevator, they proceed to spend the night exploring the city. After that night, they go back to their previous lives before the blackout. Shortly after that, Lucy moves to a different country and Owen heads across the country and they try to maintain a friendship while they are thousands of miles apart. I thought this book was kind of going to be similar to The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight, which takes place in 24 hours. I thought that this book, the first part would be, I thought a majority of this book would be about that night of the blackout and it isn't it's that's a very small fraction of the novel which I really enjoyed this novel was more about the two characters and their different lives that they are leading and how they come back to each other after periods of time there is no insta love in this book there is more like a spark and then a flame that starts to grow after a while but it takes time for them to build how they feel about each other and it takes time for them to even establish their feelings. There are obviously some romantic elements in this book and I thought they were so cute. Um, some people might find them cheesy, I didn't. I thought that they were unique and cute and they fit the characters as mentioned Lucy moves to Edinburgh and um, Owen moves out west so there is a lot of traveling involved and I really enjoyed traveling with the characters. I really enjoyed seeing the different sites that they were seeing and going on the different adventures that they were going on. I liked the growth of the characters just in becoming who they are and also the growth of their relationships with their parents. This book reflects on that aspect so well. There are so many YA novels that the parents, the parent relationship is non-existent or it's not very good and this is one that grows throughout the story and by the end of the story is something that's strong and present. Overall, I really, really, really like this one. I am bouncing back and forth between four and five stars, but I think that I'm going to settle on five stars because I'm still thinking about this book and this book is still making me smile remembering certain parts that happened and I hope you guys will read it and check it out really soon when it comes out because it's just so good. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my review and I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Happy reading.